We are the best you show in the land. It's a common coach. We do have an award to prove that. You come up with the stream of a face. Get to Mr. Sasa nominee himself. Top top Shayev. Get to show me the money. Show me the money. So if I let it out, best perfect. But you know I like giving you proof what the show is about today. It's I'm trying to get to the get financial services sector, to get insurance and risk management. Get to as long as I want to get a lot of money, I think we will be more to next week. Then seven, we tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do it. 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 Name No Tandon Dovu. Age 24. Education Metric. Special qualification BCom Insurance and Risk Management. Marketing. Former work experience graduate trainee placement. Position applied for insurance broker. It's Andrea Tandek, Jenny Kamala Kevin. Munto Hotanabant. Tandu Kuluma, Tandu Serenza, Mundo had me to really. Gamalamu, not hand on Jovu, Nazalela is on Kizzi's way, nineteen ninety seven, some mover, some mover like paradise. As on Kapu Nazim being a nineties, so of Shalaguna meeting you, Tolu to yourself, Vogesani. Seba, Masha, Guvalu, Golo, so Sabon to Utah and the Mazan School and Nether Lung with Tafundela, and Nether Lung with the same key power fund and a Pandasilla, so I decided to disfund in our guest Pumazo. Mancula, Nangas would soon be ill, but singing at Gabang would tell the worst person in Flavin. Nanga Tand would see Mises or sing at Maja. Even a soft pity, you would see me and Shopey, Gunzi Magiti, got a young eyes, good schools in a car, and isn't this mean about your Bantana Bachelor School and Mina Benga was a good stall. Benga co easy. No, but Sabanda by seven, I hope, Langa Langanisa, so Benga co easy. Oh, my mammy, Mancola, but I think it's a school in Labin Fundakan, and then Upaba me is a photographer. But it's your basic photographer, or should I go cool in my family, Lagune, or this child serial corner? Um, should I ban to the location as well? That's basically what my parents do. I remember I was in the middle of the night, and I couldn't because my mom and I were in the middle of the night. And that was very tough. As much as it needs to be as told, but so the basic things I always had. And I think Ubaba me because I am going to be able to get the money. It's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good thing. It's Mankulang as any bomb done in Dava and a school or the same line living in Dava. But the Nazuguti Umfunu went a octillion pilagam, Nafuna would sing as to pay, Nafuna would sing his own on Nabas album. So it came as a singing grade ten. But figure some guy, the guy chatted accountant in the sky. But figure a cool room was motivated. I want to not touch along, I want to go to Kaiso. Maybe my phone that never right. Never right. was a good in And then what's going on? Now, lawyer, figure, Benzama awards is going. 
So my friends and my awards, Kanjalo people started getting awards. And then I got the award. And I thought to myself, but I'm very smart. How can I not get an award? So I got a lot of myself. At that time, it was more of a competition. It was more of, if I'm born, I got to be smart. And then end of grade 10, I passed a lot. But the following year, I started getting awards. I got a lot grade 11 foot in a pasaga up until grade 12. So through those years, I think the ambition of telling me life, I'm joking the last three years of my life, a high school. So I was able to get a phone call and I was able to get a phone call. I phone call and I was able to get a phone call and I was able to get a phone call. I was able to get a phone call and I was able to get a phone you know, it was so tough. So hamba sa yicho be ki singe ne ma penge sa apply, ma singe ne ba sinu opulum zala kaba sebent. Mama ba zala sebent. I'm going to my bank. It's clearly we're waiting when you shop. Go to shop later. Be back safe, Adil. Just clearly, you know, I've given up. At that moment, I had given up. All I remember, I just remember the telephone call. The wee bazaar. From then, it's into the change, I guess. So I'm going to the bazaar and. Never sit. And at the time, nobody believed to go to never sit. You know, it was something. I don't think I could go to the It was just a dream, Jay. Mange never sit. It was not a case of I want to do this specifically, but I knew that the channels for me go to Kumenele. I wanted to go through varsity first. So I'm going to accounting. Then I enjoy accounting. I just hated everything about accounting. The first year was tough. It was so tough. Even they've got the system where you have to pass certain subjects for you to carry on. If you fail certain subjects, then you back tosh. So I think the first year was just to make sure we have tosh. I about June, but I'm probably gonna fail. So I started to apply in NAFSAS and I started applying for other things as well because at least among the other main job, I've got someone else to pay for me. Towards the end of the year, I had failed the accounting well, but I'd passed all of my other subjects. I go back to the paper, 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 I go back to the The end of that year, I was teaching my subjects. So I didn't want to move from my original degree. I'm not sure I still do commerce, so I started. I just chose the various subjects: marketing, investments, marketing, and insurance. So in after this young tata the second year, and then I got to pass pass again, man. Because I think I have many much, and so we send them a task just to get the babon a bit over the last eighteen months. I'm going to go and join. In terms of issue, what are you doing? I'm going to go to Wangla Lela. Go on, get your pill along the left. Go on to your ma, yes, I'm an amali. It is done as tolly. I'm telling them, tell a witty, oh, I will let him in. So, tatta sugar daddy or tatta with a little bit of supporting a man. Begazella is a tolly man like a lila. Turn on from the sweetie, and I say, should give up. No magu, you began missing business in Maganga than none. Put a little bit of handle with it. So, sit corner. I think I'm sorry, I'm saying the um, coming together a lot of emotions. At the same time, with you, it's been a long way, it's been worth it. That's all I can say.
making the interview again today. My name is Hilda Macheta. I'm one of the HR managers within MASH. Uh, just to give you a brief overview again of who MASH is, uh, MASH is a global leader in insurance broken and risk management. What we basically do is that we help our clients to define, design, and um, deliver innovative industry solutions. MASH runs a, a graduate trainee program for 18 months. I know that you've been on the program for the past 18 months, and um, do you want to share with us um, your experience over the 18 months period? I must say the past 18 months have been very different to what I've always known. Mm -hmm. um, my understanding of insurance was that you only just sell generic insurance to everyone, and you just cover their cars and their buildings. But when I got to Marsh, I realized that um, they do much more than just give people insurance. They give them that peace of mind that you can cover your assets, you can cover your anything that you might lose, you can have insurance for it. And it's been very challenging. It's been a very interesting ride as well. Mm. I found myself learning new things each and every day. Mm. And as much as I made mistakes along the way, I had great mentors who were able to always steer me back into the road and say, no, this is how you do it. Okay. Jen, anything you want to say um, to Tando? Tando, we've been through the graduate program for the last 18 months together. Can you tell me why do you want to work at Marsh? You know, I want to become part of a global company that is a leader in insurance broking and managing risk. I think that Marsh would be able to give me the skills needed to excel in an insurance industry. So what do you think have been your highlights in, you know, in the 18 months program? And I mean, if you have to speak to somebody who would want to join a MASH graduate in the future, what would be your advice to them in terms of what they need to look forward to? I think what they can look forward to, um, you know, what we do is so interesting. We go to different clients, we meet different people all the time. And just knowing that you're helping a big corporate client, it really does give a great feeling. It gives a sense of achievement that you've earned something and you've worked hard for it. Okay. Um, you know, just one of the of the things I mean, I imagine is that um, you would have been exposed to working in a team environment, you know, in a corporate environment. Um, how has been your experience been in terms of, um, you know, having to now deal with different people, different departments, just really that um, teamwork? I think it was very different when I got here. I mean, in varsity, if somebody doesn't do their work, um, you would write a report to your lecturer and say this person so and so didn't do their part but in corporate mm -hmm. if one of your team members cannot do something and it's expected of you to produce the results you have to assist where you can because it's about teamwork mm -hmm. it's not about i did this or oh, so and so didn't do this but at the end of the day the client expects certain results mm -hmm. and the point is to deliver mm -hmm. right you know one of the things with the graduate program is to <coughs> You know, we, we, we take on graduates, we give them this exposure, and in the you know, by the end of 18 months, we we would like to see them, you know, being converted to permanent uh, uh, employees. Do you think personally that 18 months period is enough for somebody to gain the exposure that we want them to gain? I think 18 months is sufficient enough. I mean, there's a lot to learn, and you can never say I've learned enough. And the I think the most 
exciting thing about the insurance industry is that you always learn. So in as much as you can be, become permanent, but you'll carry on learning. All right, Tando, thank you very much for, for coming to see us. I will um, hand you over to Janice, who will take you through the tasks. We're going to meet up again later today, uh, just to finalize the whole process and what needs to happen going forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tando, I'm going to check out the service here for Tang Hanle, the Haru Company. I'm going to check out the service here for Company is here Tang. Nikaramo sa haye, wadi na hani siya. Ota si ene hape uya itepa. Sebo ya haye kaha kampani. Iti hileche oka rinki embasada ya kampani. Kirata sewe. Tando ka jenu. Uprovine ncha ya horbu talo mbaka teho. Kile rato la se osietang. Mahatla se. Tatandi kele lo talo na kami hupo lo eme ite. Yumela ngupu mamputu huwane lelo na nitabaku mamputu. Harakuta. Rifuma na wana le papale na lebata watuwa juangu. Yeah, not handle only what I say. We are insurance. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Home Talk just kills that interview buffet and you can take that to the bank. Joba get to pay la pana if financial services set up to see what to ama for my mother to on the bank. Atola la kona la pana. No go think about it. Zabi and Zani Jane Insurance Broker buffet. Yes, let me give you the passcode to the vault to the safe of knowledge buffet or we set to overview. So password accepted. Arba boy. Insurance broker, kumele igu kazolega shenge simo sa insurance ya ako itatayo na uma kunezi ndo estile o kumele uzazi ngo shogole insurance ya ako. Kalungisa ingwa di estile ispegene nawe noma ipiznesi ya ako la pokona. Papala imiteto etile, kakulumisa na nengkapa nize insurance, pape eksese uguti. Ngaba uluku utlobole insurance el ngalugulumela, wena noma ipiznesi yako, pape egene zindu ez ngashe zibe ingozi, noguti wena ungakona ugumela na nazo na. Insurance Pro kage wona, kumele agwazi uhumigeza ize lilego onga kona uhusere nzisa umaso ufuna ufaka istilo sako. Ama brokers, aba nalo uluwazi nye mikomo ni mibandela, usizo kanya nezi nye izi ndo ezi kona kwezi nye inga apaniza ma insurance, aba kutelene nazo, kona bazo guwazi uguti, ba guwazi ugugusiza utole usizo ulu hamelana na ikalo zako. Ngogongeza lulu kusobo lulu pegana nebunguzi, ulu ngashe buvele, ulu akelo ugu pegana nazo zonke izi mu e-business ni yako. Unga kona uwekiza email o ipatala njalo nge nyanga, upinde utolo usizo olukulu, wenze hito gozele na insurance yako. Kwa insurance broker, otoka grade 11, imba bahiri kabungata, babata degree ya business economics kapa finance. Hawa inoisa diploma, yetadi subsetse tona nile mezi kapa accounting. Ha uketa, ulukela huweza insurance training ya hao. Ha se uifeza, ulukela huilonga examuli insurance institute ya mwana South Africa, huru ukonoko qualify as insurance agent. Hai kama kuna luko sa ufumanang, chakela website ya career help. Yeti chik 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 katleva sentu una. So wa mkanda le nyuga wa fesi, joba nga indoga zeti la pana, yo chai chaskake, yo kala. Yeti ngabi zu hamba njani, ha we ma, angazi, hamba ebo nena mungu. I'm Janet Clayton. I'm a broking executive in the risk management practice division of Marsh. I've worked at Marsh for nine years and I've been in the insurance industry for 23 years. 
Hi Tandor, welcome to Task One. The way you play the game is you throw the dice and then you select a card from the deck and I will ask you a question and if you get the question correct, you move your token the number of spaces you threw on the dice. Oh, okay, so I just throw the dice and then I pick a card. All right. The board game we're about to play um, helps the candidates explain their understanding of the different divisions within Marsh and how everything fits together and what our values and culture is like. We use it to test candidates to see that they've done proper research about the company and to show that they're actually interested and passionate about this company and the role that we're offering them. Tundra. What are the four Marsh values and explain your understanding? Okay. So when I look at this diagram here, um, I see four of them. The first one is clients. So I believe that Marsh aims to deliver exceptional value to the clients by meeting or exceeding the client's expectation. And then the second one is integrity. So Marsh delivers their services to the clients in the most ethical and professional standard. And the third one is execution, where Marsh makes sure that they execute and deliver professional service to their clients and clients are happy with what they get. And then colleagues, I think that Marsh is a great place to work and they treat their employees fairly and employees are happy to work in an environment where they are treated fair. That's correct. So move your spaces. Okay. One, two, three, four. I didn't choose insurance. I think insurance chose me because originally when I got to varsity, I wanted to become a chartered accountant. But things didn't go as planned along the way and I found myself doing insurance subjects and other subjects such as marketing and management. But I fell in love with insurance and the insurance industry. I think it's an ever-changing industry and you always just have to keep up, keep up to date. So it, you don't stay then idle around, but you always have to keep up, which, what, which is what makes it so interesting. That's great, Sandra. Can you tell me which one of the four values means something to you? I would choose colleagues, because if colleagues are happy in the company, and if colleagues um, are satisfied with the roles that they're given in the company, and they'll be able to deliver great service to their clients. I can move my spaces now. Okay, one, two, three, four. Cool. Um, one. How does Marsh deliver their service offering to their clients? and explain your understanding of that. So, if you look at the diagram in the same space here, Marsh uses a 3D methodology. So, it, it composed, it's composed of define, design, and deliver. And in defining, this is where they define the risk and they look at what risk clients face. And in design, that's when they find solutions as to how to mitigate the risk and what's the best um, insurance covers they could give to their clients. And then deliver is by delivering to the clients in the expected amount of time and deliver exactly what the client needs. That's correct. Thank you. In my training, some of the things that we had to face were when you go to an insurer and you want to place business for your clients, basically you have to motivate that your client has this risk measures in place. So for example, the insurer would ask you, do they have any sprinklers in their buildings? Do they have any fire extinguishers in their buildings? Um, what measures are in place in case anything of emergency happens? All those things factor in as to how much premium they're gonna charge. So the more risk measures you have in the company, the lower your premium you're gonna pay. So basically, it goes back to saying you need to understand the business. You need to be there and see what they do and how they do it for you to, in order to be able to place business for them. So within the broking environment, Marsh's role would be or was to liaise between the client and the insurance company 
who ultimately pays out for claim, um, assist the client in proving their claim, the quantum of their claim. I think the game works quite well. Um, it's visual, it's interesting, um, and, and it assists to make a complex structure more simple. The first game that we played, I, I found it a bit difficult at first. Um, there was a lot of jargon to go with it, and at the same, on the same note, I feel that it's a, it's a good way to get to know the business and to get to know all the different departments that they have and how they interlink with each other. I didn't even know that there's a separate division for actually placing cover for our clients and there's a different division as well in order to mitigate the risk and find ways to mitigate it. It's two different divisions but that actually work together. I think that's very interesting. I think Tandor came across very confidently. Um, she knew her stuff. She came across as though she had done her research properly and had made a good effort. into the benefit. We put a hand or motivating or convincing and a dilo so kiss insurance agency a look at our banal it own. Mahatlasi, we chulona tatolo pillu, the hotonya effort to big libiti, or pita so satilitati, you look so kiss it hando as the ending eighteen months effiti link the haroko campani. Harkuta camera papato, Rebona Hatalosa di Lotesa my son le papalena, mona hai lima fatting, met or tell a li is funny to ya beke ina. She's a Makanda, but you have a basket with six eggs in it. How did you distribute six eggs to six people and still have one egg left in the basket? You have a basket with six eggs in it. How did you distribute six eggs to six people and still have one egg left in the basket? Hashtag is funny with a capital Q. But we all know that our girl has all her eggs in one basket because she's going to go to South Africa and she's going to go to South Africa and insurance broker. I just tell you, she won't go broke or get broken like Humpty Dumpty who sat on the wall and fell. Now we're going to finish it. Then you shall crash. Welcome to task number two. Thank you. This diagram represents the different market cycles that we experience in the insurance industry. Um, I'd like you to explain to me in your own words your understanding of the different market cycles um, and what causes them. All right. The um, insurance industry goes through different market cycles. Um, uh, namely a hard market and a soft market. A hard market is triggered when insurance companies have to pay out substantial losses which are usually caused by natural catastrophes such as um, earthquakes, hailstorms, floods, tsunamis, that type of thing. Um, when the insurers are paying out large losses it puts them under financial strain. Um, so the appetite for writing risk dries up. There are few, fewer insurance companies in the market and they are writing smaller portions of each risk, which drives the prices up. They also become very um, conservative in the amount of cover they want to give clients and they start imposing restrictions in cover and limitations. Um, clients would usually be forced to um, reduce their coverage to um, keep prices down and to take substantial excesses and self-insurance to also keep the, the prices down. Um, 
when the market, market moves into a soft market cycle, it's when there haven't been many um, large losses and the insurance companies haven't had to pay out. They are in a far better financial position. They have lots of reserves. They become less conservative in their risk appetite. There's lots of competition. New players come into the market. Um, so as brokers, we're able to use the soft market to get um, reduced prices for our clients, wider coverage. Um, the insurers are competing for their business, so we have a lot of leverage. Um, so as brokers, the soft market is great. <laughs> In a market cycle, we've got two types of cycles. We've got the soft market and a hard market. And so I'll start with the hard market. So in a hard market, this is where um, insurance companies face significant major catastrophes. So that would be your tsunamis and your hurricanes. But I know in South Africa, we don't have a lot of tsunamis and hurricanes. I don't know, do you know of any catastrophes? In South Africa, catastrophes would be um, probably hail storms, um, flooding, also um, earthquake, especially with the mining industry. I remember we had a few last year. Okay. During the hard market, it's very difficult for us as brokers because it's very hard to negotiate with the insurers. There's, there's fewer insurers in the market. They've got smaller capacities. Um, there's less competition. The insurers are able to dictate terms to us and we really don't have much of a choice but to accept what's, what's going on. So another thing that happens is when insurance companies face so many claims, they tend to be <coughs> in a financial strain and therefore they charge high premiums to our clients and accompanied with that, they start limiting the cover. So they limit the stuff that they can give to our clients and our clients as well, because everything is just so much more expensive, our clients start buying less insurance as well. And then the opposite would happen, of course, in a soft market. This is where we have insurance companies don't have a lot of catastrophic claims and they have a surplus of um, financial reserves and therefore they can offer um, um, more cover and they are hungry for more business as well. So it's easy to negotiate terms with them and get the best deal for our clients. Is that it? Good okay. enough? Oh, okay. I think, you know, in insurance, you don't just deal with one industry. Um, from what we do in insurance today, you're dealing with a manufacturer who manufactures suites. And tomorrow you're dealing with a tracking company which tracks your car. And you need to understand the basics of the company. You need to understand what they do. And when you understand what they do, then you're able to assess the risk. And you say, okay, I think you need this cover. And you find that some clients have such different settings. Some clients rent their spaces. The insurance there is quite different to somebody who's owning a building. And you have to think of the, the risk measures that they have to put in place. And all those things put together makes it so much more interesting. You meet different people all the time and you meet different personalities, which is what makes it so much more better. So can you tell me what is your understanding of what market cycle we're in at the moment and how can we use that to benefit our clients? Um, I think at the moment we're in a soft market. Um, insurers are hungry for more business and they are able to give us um, additional cover at some of it at no additional cost and clients get the best deals and it's easy to negotiate terms with the insurer. They're not as difficult as they would be in a hard market. Thank you. I think Sando displayed a very good understanding of the market cycles and I think she also understood the broker's role and on how we can um, use the soft market to the best benefit of our clients. Can we see this young hustler we had in the market cycle in an? Uwili kaya na okariki dilo sa atlotang katona wii nem bahay. Bachi loko rigilo sa rena hanang katona kana koto uti. So kisi pirisa kateho. My hustler, luena umeta pili ya latelang. Kalahona hanajwalo. 
har khuta mek o rikitse tsa karabo ya Hispanic Q thando yena o tlogana le thaske ha ya o qetela dula le roma Get to ship it as a food, let's on set days, but first time I get on no time, don't I can't go, but I'll have a tea, but I have my money, don't act like you forgot, don't get a flu by insurance broker, but before that, don't act like you forgot, and if you did, let me remind you this funny truth, but first, um, but it's Uham Baganje, you have a basket with six eggs in it, how do you distribute six eggs to six people and still have one egg left in it, but first, but I tweet now, but let me ask you, what came before, the egg or the chicken i don't know that either but i just know with it must cut and i get your camera in the bag or no time do i have a shot like a land now for task three i'd like to test tundles negotiation um skills so i'd like to put a um with an insurer where she actually negotiates a quote for one of our clients with the insurer. So Janice, um, I know we received a quote from the market and when I looked at the terms, the holding insurer's cover is a bit more expensive and they don't have any enhancements in the cover, they just have restrictive cover for us. I'd like to renegotiate the terms with the holding insurer and see what they give us. Okay. So I'll just call Carrie. When Tando is speaking to the insurer, she needs to focus on painting the client's risk in the most attractive light to the insurer. And she needs to explain things like um, the claims experience or the lack thereof, um, the um, commitment to risk management and in improving their risk, um, and, and that type of thing to make the, the client most attractive to the insurance company. The worst that could happen is I would end up looking like a fool because I didn't do my research properly about the client and um, possibly because the insurer I'm, I'm sure is much more experienced than I am, they would, I don't know, throw something at me that I don't know already and I wouldn't know what to say. Good afternoon. Hi Kerry, how are you? Hi there, uh, who is speaking? You're speaking to Tando, I'm calling you from Marsh. Oh, hi Tando, is this in regard to the quotation that you provided yesterday? Yes, and thank you so much for the terms provided. However, we've also, uh, we've also approached alternative markets and from what we received from the market, we've noticed that they've given us enhanced cover and they've also provided us with very competitive premiums. So we'd like to give you an opportunity to relook at your codes and possibly reduce the premium. Tando, I actually have to disagree with you there. I mean, we've had a thorough look at this and we're not prepared to give you a better offer. Can you actually tell me why I should give you a better offer? So um, if you have a look at the, the client, they've been loyal to you for the past three years and the claims are looking fairly good since all the claims that they've had are all within the deductibles. So in actual fact, you've been receiving premiums and they haven't been um, incurring any claims. So I think you can, you can look into it. But are there any measures that they have actually implemented to support your case? Well, actually they have. Um, the client has also employed Marsh Risk Consulting. And so MRC had gone to the premises and surveyed their premises and all the recommendations that they had given to the client, the client has actually implemented. Some of the um, requirements or the, the recommendations were to install um, sprinklers and to also have fire suppression systems, all of those which the client has done. Mm, that, that does sound convincing. I'll tell you what, can you put that in writing and I could possibly give you a 15% discount on the quote. Oh, that would be so great. Um, I'll give you a confirmation right now and then I'll wait for your terms. Perfect, thank you so much. It's great doing business with you. I ah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Tando. 
Tando, I'd just like to give you some feedback on some pointers that I noted during your negotiation with the insurers. Um, so whilst you did achieve a good result in the end, um, you could have maybe um, put a bit more focus on the how much the client values the relationship that they've built up with the insurer over the years and that they'd like to be loyal to the insurer and, uh, and work together with them. And also a bit more emphasis on how profitable this account has been for the insurer over the last three years. Um, then also I would have liked to see you make a more emphasis on the client's commitment to risk management and improving their risk. Um, uh, I would have also liked to see you put a bit more emphasis on the client's commitment to risk management and what they've done to improve their risk over the years um, for the mutual benefits of both the insurer and themselves. Okay, I'll, I'll work on it. Thank you. Pleasure. In the next two, five, ten years, I'd like to see myself as a senior broker, perhaps, possibly an executive broker. Um, I find that the company that I'm training with offers a lot of opportunities. So even if it's not in broking, I could also go into client services. But at the moment, I'm in love with broking, so I'd stick with broking. Nine life insurance go to Patala English every month. Hey, bo, I am Zio Leon. So, this is what my niggas in the area to the final with Panic Cuba. So, Buzile Sati, you have a basket with six eggs in it. How do you distribute six eggs to six people and still have one egg left in the basket? And the answer is straightforward. But, so, you give the sixth person the egg while it's still in the basket. The answer in Jarus, I'm not going to change, but, so, you see, after the break, so when I'm going for broke, but before that, let's take a break. Hi Tando, well, welcome to the final session of the afternoon. Just wanted to give you and Hilda some feedback on how you performed throughout the day. Um, I was very impressed. I could see that you had clearly done your research and um, informed yourself about what we do and about the company. Um, you were very confident. You came across very well. You were not flustered. You were quite relaxed. Um, and I can see that you um, are a high potential uh, employee and that you have a place in the company. Um, thank you very much, Jen. I'm very pleased to hear that your performance has been up to scratch because, you know, one of the things that we look at in a graduate program, um, we don't take people on board who are not performing at the required level that we want. So, you know, we, we take on graduates, but it's important that they understand that during the 18 months period, it is critical for them to perform at a standard that we have set for them. And, um, you know, that what, that's what qualifies them to, um, you know, to be appointed permanently. And um, it's very critical then that people or graduates um, in this case um, understand that the company is looking for um, individuals that are career driven because we are a high performance driven company. So performance is critical for us. So Tando, we are delighted to welcome you on board. We'd like to take you on in the position of junior broker in the team and you'll be looking after some of our small and medium sized corporate clients. Um, advising the clients as well as negotiating the best insurance deals for them in the market. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate your coming. I think I'm told I'm saying the um couldn't get a lot of emotions. It's been worth it, that's all I can say. 
I'm done for today. Um, all the interviews are done and they said I've got the job. I've got exactly what I wanted. It just goes to show that when you work hard and you're determined, you're destined to get what you want. So on that note, guys, Presa Pusha Panda. Well done, Pando. Or a bonus is the whole catalog of Pelu Okai Kumana, or look at a whole one a Peli in Okayeza. Also, Yarana Yabeke Enna is a co pace. Ariana Obata was to a whole hunger at a logistic. Pessy, Okai Chutela Transportation and Logistic. Dile Pedi, Via Samaitana and a happy little Nayaminata Eliminata. Le Papaleo Monana Hengaruna, Lele Holo and Elehola Kanako Dose. Obana Kilona let Samaitan economy Yaruna, Jerka had the productivity service. Do you look at a transport to a Kanako Dose? Osaka grade nine, Tapa ten, Tapa NTF level one. Training is a Honka de Modilitaro. Hi, Kaba Honal Hosa Kumanang, Hopala Chakala Facebook, Tapa website Yaruna, Rumelan Taluna de Pozo. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Or you can also hit us up on our website and also catch the show on YouTube or get our repeat for 11 p.m. Thursday by first M. Sugu. Get to us. Until next week, the same person only in the all of Nandi. Get to us. Remember, don't look down. Look up and stay up.